Resort, we are starting a monorail crawl. <laughs> Hopefully this one will be more successful than our last monorail crawl.
off with just one bar of the Polynesian, did you? walking around, talking to people, and everyone was telling everybody their age, so that was... <laughs> everyone's eight. Yeah, everyone's eight years old. Everyone who's eight years old, and it's a tough year uh, at eight. What was your favorite part of dinner? I would say the noodles. Um, I would say toss-up between pot stickers And the shrimp. And I know you shrimp. were really into it. I ate a lot of that shrimp. <laughs> You, you, will, you will not leave hungry for me. No, for sure. You will not. For sure. So good. Yeah, that's your own fault. You only have yourself to blame for that. Yeah. Onward. Uh, our next stop's right behind you, girls. Yeah. Let's right. go. Let's do it. So, as much as I love Ohana, I really wish you had an option where you, you could just get the appetizers. Like, I really love the shrimp, and the steak's good, especially if you get the chimichurri, but I don't need that much food. I am there for the for the appetizers. And you know, when it came on the skewers, 
they'd bring it out and you could get what you wanted and if you didn't want anything you could say oh no no thank you but now it just all comes and I feel like it's a waste I don't want all that food I just want lots and lots copious amounts of noodles and pot sticker our next stop is the Grand Floridian we're gonna go into Enchanted Rose and have another cocktail I know we're walking and it's technically supposed to be a monorail crawl, but if we don't get some of this food to settle from Ohana's, there's not going to be room for anything else. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> This bar is stunning. I love the blue coffered ceilings. And look, even the light fixtures in the ceiling are decorative. Yep. At ahead. this stop, I got the Floral Bitter Beauty. Sarah got the Rhinot. And both Nikki and Aaron got Mojito. Can you tell us about your daughter's fake ID? Um, so Maddie was getting a new wallet. And she said, well, I have my fake ID right here. And Beth and I were like, what? She's like, yeah, here it is. She pulls out her wallet and it's like the opening where your ID would go. And then there's a piece of notebook paper, lined notebook paper that she's torn into a spot this big and a hand-drawn photo of herself. And she was gonna get into Trader Sam's and sit at the bar. <laughs> not true. That's not true. How is your rye not treating you? Very nice. It tastes very similar to the Oa at Trader Sam's, but it has bourbon instead of rum. So Sarah approved. No Victor Kiriakis tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Very refreshing. Yep. Very fresh. Strong. <laughs> very strong. Yeah. Nice and strong. Yeah. But very good. Very minty and delicious. Yeah. Just the way I like them. As you can see, it's very heavy on the mint. In there. Very heavy on the mint. And went it, down pretty easily. Uh, it, it absolutely did. It's gone. <laughs> Goes down real smooth. First to finish her drink. <laughs> it's muddled to perfection. And mine's delicious. You guys know I love St. Germain. St. Germain egg, egg whites, like Sarah says. But the Aperol kind of balances out the sweetness of the St. Germain and gives it kind of a bitterness, uh, hence the name Floral Bitter Beauty, I guess. There's some star anise in there, lemon. Very refreshing. If you don't like sweet drinks, you might like this. It's a lot different from the Lavender Fog, which is very sweet and very ice creamy. Another winner, they know how to make a good cocktail. You can also find some familiar friends here, like Mrs. Potts, Lumiere, and Cogsworth. Plus, there's just some really beautiful artwork in this bar. We sat in the library, which is our favorite room, but there is also a beautiful green garden room with an adjoining terrace and the main bar, which boasts the chandelier that looks like Belle's dress from the famous ballroom scene. We stopped by so Aaron and Nikki could get their photo with the glass slipper. I'll insert those pictures here. <laughs> They're chef's kiss. <laughs> Thank you.
Steakhouse 71 Lounge, and Sarah is getting the tequila sunrise for two. I was thinking we could share it. <laughs> Looks like it actually serves up to four people. If you want to get it. <laughs> We decided to save the punch bowl drink for another time, so I got the Big Manhattan, which is monkey shoulder blended scotch, Cointreau Noir, Big Simple Syrup and Orange Bitters, little orange peel, oh it's delicious, it's like if they made fig jam into a cocktail. Sarah got the Coco Boulevardier, which is not Creek, Disney Single Barrel Reserve Bourbon, Campari, Carpano Antica Formula Vermouth, and Chocolate Bitters. Disney may go all in with Blue Curacao in the parks, but in the lounges it seems like Campari is their go-to ingredient. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's cherries, not olives. Yes, it's cherries, not olives.
for all tonight. We finally got it done. All three stops. We talked about doing Wilderness Lodge, but between the few stops at the Poly and the giant meal at Ohana and wanting to get back to the fireworks, we just we ran out of time. But we had an awesome day. We got a bunch of awesome drinks, an awesome meal. We got those really cool Monstro mugs, so I'm excited about that. Got one for you, Dad, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming with us. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, it has been a most gratifying day. Bye. Do you have heartburn, gas, bloating, general malaise? Have you tried Gaviscon? Helps all your woes. Get it on the Amazon.com. Heartburn, gas, <laughs> trying it, trying it. <laughs>